Hello everybody and welcome back to my run through on Astroneer. This is episode 33 and here we are on sunny Calidor hanging out in our field shelter. Uh, sun's coming up so I guess we've got to get out of bed and let's have a quick look at what we need to get done still. We completed the first part of the railway challenges by collecting uh, 10 of the kind of glowy block things that we found down in the caves. We have another one to do, another railway challenge, which is find and explode an obelisk and take 10 shards back to this particular logistics railway station. So, if we're going to be blowing things up, let's grab ourselves some explosives. Do I have any ready-made? I don't think I have any. Oh, I do. Look, so I've got some ready-made. Let's grab the ready-made. We can always turn the explosive into dynamite. Dynamite, you cannot put... Oh, I've got too much on my back. Let's take that off, because we're not going to need it. You can't put dynamite in a container, but you can put explosives in a container. So it's a good idea if you're trying to store things away and keep things neat to um, leave your explosive powder in explosive powder form until you need it because you can always convert it on your back as you go. Let's just demonstrate here this explosive powder can feed into I don't think we've got anything else in there that's going to feed so that can just feed into a container like that keep it all clean there we go so we've got a lot of explosive powder well eight on top of any dynamite we're already carrying and we can make more of that explosive powder it just takes sulfur and carbon we've got plenty of uh, sulfur made up and of course carbon very easy to produce so we need to get down we saw uh, what we're pretty sure of was it called monoliths the obelisks, right, so let's head down into the caves, whoops, head down on our Calidor railway here, into the caves, we didn't use much, I took away the excess heading over onto those levels, because there wasn't much going on up there, um, so there didn't seem any point in retaining it, now, <clears throat> these railway tracks, it's just a bit too far, they're a little bit fussy, they're like tethers in a lot of ways. They will give you oxygen if they're connected to an oxygenator. Mine aren't anyway, because I've already got an oxygenator. Although I could put my oxygenator on something up above, on a platform, and uh, give myself air oxygen through the tethers. Or through the, sorry, through the, uh, what are these called? The rail posts. They give you oxygen, and they give you... Um, power and there's a power cable connector on each one so they're very handy in that respect you get 10 every time you can bun make a bundle and a bundle made up on your small printer only takes it's down here somewhere railway posters this one they take resin and aluminum uh, and that gives you 10 railway posts and of course resin and aluminum present on every planet so very easy you can also make tall rail post bundles I have to confess I've never used these and I have never been very successful using the junctions I'm not the person to ask about how do I fix your junction I, I tried using them and I always have to stop my train get off change the tracks it just seems a bit of a kerfuffle so when I've used rails for my own purposes I just built another track. Um, now I'm not seeing any obelisks yet. There's some of the previous things. What were they called? Artifacts? I forget what we called those. Um, I think they were called artifacts. So those things that are now left over I don't need for any mission but I could take them back to base and put them in a research chamber um, if I needed to get research points quickly. 
Let's put that there. And then, yeah, there was a connector up above. There it is. I think it's been trying to connect to that. These things you cannot make. These, um, let's see if I can get it. Yeah, that thing, and I just lost the name on it. It is called a sight pylon. You can't make sight pylons. You have no power to produce these things. However, there's plenty of them lying around on this planet and on Glacio. Once you've done your missions, you don't really need them for that purpose anymore. There's a few more of those artifact things. Let's quickly... So had we not got the, the ten we needed quickly, we could have easily popped down a little bit lower and got the remaining ones. As you see, they're all over the place. Artifact, indeed, that's what they're called. Um, <clears throat> so the site pylons, if you want them as part of your railway, you can bundle them up with a packager. They are a very large item, so they're you know, the same size as a, a large rover when they're bundled, the biggest, biggest thing. But you can bundle them up and then take them away and put them down somewhere else. Uh, you do not want to blow them up unless you're particularly in short of scrap, um, because you can't make your own. Now, quick look over the edge, still not there, so we're still not low enough. And with the rails again, I'm looking to get blue there. When it goes red, you've no longer got any space. There are also a couple other things on these. They have um, a connector here, target pin. Maybe the target pin is how you set the rail junctions. If I if I figure that out, I'll show you. But it, I, I've seen people create complicated things with multiple switches and buttons, and I just couldn't be bothered. Um, it wasn't necessary. Uh, for what I was getting, trying to get done in my game. Now, the other thing with these, of course, is that you, you kind of want the thing to be as straight as possible. So you see I'm getting a little bit wibbly-wobbly there. You can reposition these um, straight track is just going to be a little bit more comfortable to ride on. If you want it to be all wibbly-wobbly, of course, uh, you can easily do it. But uh, when I'm trying to get to A from A to B quickly, I prefer not uh, that roller coaster sensation. I'd rather be in the back of a Rolls Royce or a, an expensive, or on a train, basically. Uh, we've got enough track here, so we'll call the car. You can hear it's um, very quietly. You can hear it's uh, whistle going there. And as long as I don't mess now, it's here it comes. whistle and dings and then it makes a noise when it gets there. So you can send this train off by itself. Again, you, you just hold on a car and set start. It'll go back to this beginning. You cannot tell the engine to go. You can actually, I believe, take off the engine and just make the cars go back and forth if you don't want to ride the train. Um, it doesn't need a driver, so it doesn't. It, the engine isn't the only thing providing locomotion as far as I can recall. I'll have to test that later on. This is why I brought the three bundles of posts. Um, yeah, I've never seen the need for the tall posts, but I guess I think I see some. I see. I don't think these are artifacts. Yes. Here's what we're looking for. Obelisk. With lots of question marks now. The obelisk has no connection points, so I can't um, attach those straight to the train or anything else. All I can really do is look at them. What I like to do is grab a few together, pile them up. See, it won't let me pick it up because it's got no attachment point. Pile a few up together like this. I, I think... I can't remember how many shards you get out of each... So it doesn't want this complete obelisk because there's no way to feed that in. It wants 
detonate and retrieve content to satiate curiosity. Um, it wants a bit of an obelisk. So I'm going to blow these up. I'm going to just remove the soil to release them. That's four of them piled together. So that should be if it's two pieces per obelisk, that'll be eight. If it's more, it might be the full ten that we need. So let's just quickly detonate these. Light the blue touch paper and retire to a safe distance. Now, I will... Oh, they're all over the place, aren't they? I've got two spaces on my backpack. Wow, that, uh, considering it was only one piece of dynamite, I guess maybe because we're low down, so the, um, I've got no soil on my backpack, so I can't, whoops, build up, but I can build, if I turn this, yes, yes, no, hang on, I can't build up, I can't jetpack, I've left myself almost powerless, and my train is over there. At least I've got that right. Let's see if we can... There's our train. Here's our blowy yucky place. Yep. Okay, so it's turned blue. That means it's close enough. Let's just get it somewhere comfortable to land on. There we go. Okay, and we'll pull the car. I think the main point of the site pylon was it'll show up on the map. So if you want to mark things, they're kind of like beacons and they form an, an obvious end to the railway. You don't have to have them, you can just la leave the end of the rail hanging and it works fine. And I do that sometimes. Or you can um, put a station on the end if you want to load or unload something. You don't have to have a station to load, you can set up with an auto arm. Um, maybe the station just makes it a little bit easier so grab that, grab that so we've got six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, am I going to have 9 when I would like to have had 10 ok well let's put the, what we've got on the train oh no there's one there I think we got the 10 we need out of that little uh, explosion. I don't know if they thought we were going to blow them up one at a time. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh no, that was clay. That must have blown out when I blew the, uh, the rock up. Send that back. This is number nine. So I'm looking for a tenth one. Did I get a tenth one? Yes. Here we go. Ten. So, I blew up four. I only blew up four, and it looks like I got exactly the ten that I'm I need to complete this mission. That's interesting. So it's not a set number per uh, unit. Some of these must have given me three. Some must have given two. And maybe some only gave one. And maybe some gave three and some gave two and some gave one. I think you'd get at least two pieces out of each one, though. 
train should be coming down. I have that train connected to all my power systems, so it's not just relying on the uh, solar. I kind of feel that's a bit foolish in this. Gr that's great until the sun goes down and now your train is stuck. Okay, let's send that off. And I saw over there, I'm going to now remove this pylon because there's a nice big pile over here of, I forget, is this titanium? Malachite. Malachite. Copper. The thing that we're always struggling to find in the mountains of silver. Let's remove that. Let's get... Come on. Not too far away from here. Nine. Ten. We've completed the mission. It's just XA chips, but I'll need to claim those at a base. Uh, maybe I'll need to put this... Actually, oh look, there's another one. So, there is another obelisk that I didn't even need. And of course, they're scattered all over the place. Um, I suspect I could research those in a um, research chamber, should I wish to. So, if you're looking for research points and you haven't come up with other solutions, Okay, this is copper, so I'm going to quickly pop a trap down there, I'll bring the train in. So I think what I might like to do, I have a mission to auto mine, and copper has been one of these slightly annoying businesses. I wonder if I have the tools to auto mine, to build an auto miner right here. Oxygen bottle, empty, but oxygen filters, interesting. This guy was carrying an odd collection of things. There's a curious item. There's that. Oxygen bottle are completely useless to me, tethers. So he had oxygen, he had tethers, he had a lot of things, and yet something went wrong. Maybe he got lost because he couldn't... Uh, Whoops, maybe he didn't have his, um, maybe his drill broke or something, I don't know. Okay, right. There's a bit of clay over there, it doesn't matter. So let's go and clean that. Oops, oh, I just sent the train away without me on it. That was silly. I meant to jump on it, not to tell it to go away. So let's ride the train home. That's when I can just tidy that up a little bit. Oh, sorry. Okay, we'll keep sending the train home. And I was just going to tidy up this. So when you're on the train and you get off, it does stop, but you can send it away again by itself. I'm just going to move this pile on a little bit, straighten that, that line out. And they do a nice job of making the line glow so you can see where it needs to go. I don't know if that really makes any difference to how fast the train gets there. Maybe it makes the line a tiny bit shorter if I um, don't have the curves in it. doesn't really matter. I just like them tidy. <coughs> and we should have room along here to uh, run a rover. Should we want to run a rover up and down the slope? The rovers will get caught. Oh, it's not going to let me because this is the one nearest. So I wanted to move it, but it wouldn't let me because it says car on rail line. Never mind. Let's go ahead and claim that mission. And of course, I could do this. I don't have to do this at a train station. So let's do it over here. So my X 
so chips, one, two, three, very nice. Now what do I need to do? Um, use data log on logistics depot to confirm shipment completed. They, they want to make this like you're actually a railway person apparently. So, that's all of that. Quickly check our missions. <coughs> we get some bites. Exochips provide logistics depot, Glacier or Calidor. Exo just one. Aluminum alloy provided to Glacier Calidor. Tungsten carbide. Copper Glacier Calidor. Interesting. Well, luckily, uh, I think we have the tools to make all those things. Let's quickly pop these things off my back somewhere safe. Come on. One. Two. I'm not planning on doing any more rail lines, so I'll get rid of those for now. Don't need the that. So we want an exo chip. We want we want I'll track that one. Oops. Okay, we want exo chip, aluminum alloy, tungsten carbide. Uh, that's it. And effectively means we need two coppers. And I, I know we had some copper somewhere, and we could always trade for it, of course. Let's quickly check the other mission called on Earth. To print an extractor, extract a nugget, get a big can. Canister, okay. What does an auto extractor require to print? It is one of these. Exochip steel, tungsten carbide, rubber. Have we got those things? We've got two copper. Organic graphite. Aluminum. I don't think we have the means to make steel right here and now. Um, we do have. You'll never remember that's, that's the copper one. Okay. We might have to not do the auto extractor right this minute and come back and do it later on. We do have. Oh, yeah. We do have means to. Let's turn that off. Oh, we have turned it off. Um, we do have the means to make. Aluminum alloy, which is going to be a fairly easy one. Aluminum alloy. Aluminum. Plus copper. And we're going to need an extra copper just on its own. That's our copper dealt with. There's our aluminum alloy. We're going to need tungsten if we have it. Aluminum. I don't think we have tungsten. It's another of those resources that we really need to go and get more of. Let's trade for the tungsten. We only need one piece. We're going to end up with two, but uh, we only need one. Oh, is there something else on that? Yes. Ha! The very carbon we're going to need for the tungsten carbide. All right, let's set that up for tungsten carbide. There's the carbon. We're going to need a spot there to put our piece of tungsten when it comes out. And where is our scrap canister? Not here. That's compound. We do have some scrap, I'm sure of it. Over here. We put it over here because we've got some free scrap from the train. In fact, we got 
six pieces of scrap from the train. So I will admit in my previous playthroughs, and I have played this through uh, sections of it at least several times, oh I just need three and then I can put that away. I did not make as much use of this train platform as I'm doing on this occasion. So tungsten is Wolframite. And it is very useful because a lot of these resources you only need one or two at a time. You don't need a whole can of 30. Some things that you do need lots of are on the planet already like aluminum. Take that away. I do need one exochip still on my back. Let's just pop that down somewhere. Here comes my Wolframite. Pop that over here. There you go. Get yourself smelting. We made us. We we bought the schematic for the solid fuel jump. Sorry, that the. Oh no, we didn't. We just yes, we did. We unlocked the hydrogen jet pack, but we never actually built it. I've actually got loads of solid fuel jump jets, and I never bothered making one. Then it takes a bit of an alloy on one hand. That's not something you can easily produce in the field, is it? Right, the second one's jumped over because it thinks we want a second one, but this is the one we want tungsten carbide. Let's put these into the data this way. Oh no, it is over this way. Whoop! That was just the, rope, the uh, shuttle getting in the way. So, copper, exochip, tungsten carbide. Aluminum alloy. <coughs> we completed a mission. Okay, so what is that? That oh, it's another railway item. Person transport installed with a friendly demeanor used to create the fastest trains. Provide two small slots and oxygen, just like the other one. Draws three power when active. And your regular rail engine. So it looks like it's just a a variety of rail engine. This one, a locomotive, a locomotive intended for personal transport, fast trains. Interesting, it actually says... Okay, so this one has a personality. I don't know how that's going to work. Anyway, I don't need that here, I don't think. Let's check. Discovery train, use... Okay, we need to quickly uh, use the data log. So there's all that stuff you can read, should you wish to. It looks like there is something else going on. Okay, we did that. And we have... Uh, another train station. Deploy on silver. <clears throat> if we're going to be doing another train on silver, we're going to want some railway bundles. Okay, what else have we got to do? We did that. Oh! Uh, it took it away. Huh, okay, so I don't need to even carry it with me. I can just call it to me. Um, there it is. What about... Oh, look. Okay, so... I haven't unlocked that. I wonder if this will work. Yes. So, also, I don't need to carry that with me. That will also come to me when I call for it, even if it, it's bundled up state. So I'm just going to dump those for now because I can call them when I get the silver. What else have I got to do? Oh, sorry, yes. i got to get better at this. Okay. 
um, oh, we're, quite, we're quite close to a QTRGG, but I don't like unlocking things that I'm not going to use because it's just more stuff to scroll through. It would be nice if in the catalogue you could temporarily hide things so that you're not looking at stuff that you never actually want to use. One of the reasons I never used oxygen filters is by the time you need one, you're probably almost dead anyway um, and haven't got time to go scrolling through 15 or 20 items on your uh, backpack printer to find the one that's going to keep you alive. We've got a probe out here on Calidor. Let's see if we... Oh, but we need steel for the probe, don't we? Okay. Um, we've done the gateway. We've done... Okay, so... And we've got only three snails that I've actually collected so far. And one of those... I haven't even verified. Right, we are done with the most of what's here on on, uh, on Calidor, but I did say I was going to do some exploration using this thing. I'm going to grab myself... Okay, I don't need those. Before we head back to Silver on the Rocket, then, let's pop a couple of... Don't need these railway bundles to put those away, and I'll try and make sure I collect any that we've printed up. I'm going to leave the one downstairs down in the, the tracks that we've already laid because we're going to um, make use of that to uh, mine some copper later on. But I want some quartz. Have we got any quartz or any printed? There's more work about this now. Um, and I also am going to want at least one soil canister because if I don't I'm going to have trouble digging stuff up. Uh, do we have any quartz? I don't think we have any quartz. Let's just quickly uh, print up. Well, that's oxygen cylinder there. Let's make ourselves some quartz because I want to have beacons. That, so I'm going to do a little bit of scouting. Maybe I'll make eight. I want to do a little bit of scouting. And mark points of interest if I find any. I may not find any. But if I do, I want to be able to mark. Quartz is cheap, so I'll print up eight. And then if I want to free up slots or anything, I can do so. Have I got any titanium? Zinc. I never remember what these symbol would be. The, no. Graphite. Graphite. Organic. And of course, scrap. I was thinking was, I could actually put one of these medium silos on rather than uh, just a small platform. Um, and it would carry a lot of, a lot of things. However, we have what we have. So, pop this back on. It might be a little bit harder to see things in the dark now that the sun is down, but it never stays down for very long. So, let's go exploring. Let's. I could. So I haven't opened any of the other gates, and it's not necessary to complete the missions. There is no mission for opening all the gates. There is an achievement. Uh, but achievements don't make you complete the game. That's just uh, exo research. Search item. Search pod. There's some. Uh, I think it's titanium. Ah, it's some titanium. Did I have? So, if I had a portable smelter, I could make my own titanium on the go, and then I could. 
I could fill up a I could put a canister on this thing and fill it up with titanium. And I could make my own silos, my own medium of silos out of titanium. Around. There's a gate. So it's not very far when you're flying to it. Takes a little bit longer on the ground. Here is a crashed whatever it is. What's on here? Oh, there's a medium storage. Two little sun things. Well, I've got a space on here, so let's put these on for now. Packager. Oops. Oh, come on. Come on. Trying to be clever, it, it doesn't think I want to slot it, it thinks I want to attach it. The, this is the slight annoyance with packages and dynamite that they attach two things. And is that? It is a research item. I might as well pick it up since it's there. I can always dump it again later. <coughs> yeah, it'd be a little bit fussy about trying to put things down. Um, not so, but there we go. Okay. That was it for that one. So, main quest, we still have one core to open, and I think that core might have to open. Is Nova, which was one of the first planets we or moons we went to. So that's a job to do, and then we've got the railway to do. We've got all the snails to finish, and we've got the probes to do. That's one that's not open. What's this? Another little pile of crashed stuff. There's a battery, a little one. Quite a lot of scrap items. Um, one more small solar. Nothing else of note. That debris is, is not going to have anything else on the end there, no. So, if I had a scrapper with me, I could pick all these things up to scrap them. Of course I don't, and I don't, and the scrapper probably wouldn't have any power because this machine is not electric. Unlike most of the vehicles, this is not providing its own power through electricity. It's providing it through hydrazine. just to indicate that I have seen that wreck and there wasn't anything left on it other than wreck. Those power cells can be used to power things, but they don't last terribly long. No gateway. Quite a bit of... Um, Graphite. Yeah. 
got to be careful jumping off these uh, vehicles because uh, it didn't jump too far. Some of them they kind of throw you off quite a way, especially the big one, the big rover. And if I had parked facing next to a gap, that wouldn't have been so much fun. I'm too far away, I think, but there's quite a lot of uh, titanite there, I think that is. This certainly makes it easy to get up to high areas, but they tend not to be wrecks up high. Which way? Am I doing fuel? I have burnt up one whole pod of hydrazine already, so you don't get a lot of time for your money. I believe, though, once you see your last marker ticking down, and that will be indicated by this bar here, um, if you see that ticking down and you head back to base, or go and fuel on any of the planets to get back to base, there's something down there, but it's not very interesting. It's just a. In fact, there's a couple of them. The interest is preserving fuel. It's always tricky landing as well. If you jump off too early, that can be uh, d damaging. If you too late, you're just burning fuel sitting on the ground. That's cool. So, the poorness of the, um, the debris items kind of suggests to me that this Canador is considered an early game planet. Because I would have hoped for better than just power cells and some of these oxygen filters. That said, I don't know when the planet generates. What if the planet generates when you land on it and it's poor because I landed on it first or second? Would that be a thing? But then there was, which was the one? We went to, uh, yeah, Vesania didn't have particularly good loot on the debris but we also went there last, so that would suggest no. It's all pre-generated when you first start a game. It set up, sets up perhaps everything in the game. It's already there. You've just got to go out and discover it. Oh, now, this is what I was looking for. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this. We have here a completely functional large solar completely functional. Now I could package that and bring it home. I'm not sure it would fit on my small machine here, large solar. If it did, it's going to take up a whole medium slot when packaged. Yes, it should do. It should fit. Um, Also, the fact that the research samples aren't worth very much suggests that this is considered early game. And this was an extra large one, which if it was intact, we would definitely want, like the one we found on, was it Novus? We found one right near our original landing spot. This one's not as good, but it's still nine power every time it's on. And there's another five available no, another four, so that's 13, 14 power sitting there. Someone wasn't using it. I wonder if that will charge that battery, if we come back and that battery is charged. Maybe not, because this platform is all broken up. Um, let's 
package that solar up and see what happens, see how big it becomes. I think it becomes... Yes, so there's my large solar. If I take this off, pop this on, and the other thing I could do is package it up, leave a marker in the form of a beacon, and then when I come back on a land vehicle, like my large rover, the beacon will tell me it's here. Put my beacon there. That'll keep a note of everything else that's on there. I've got... I shall, if I take <clears throat> everything else off, then I've got room for the medium solar on the other side. Unless I also package that, which I could because... No, I can't because I don't have another packager. So I could have brought, say, four... Um, Quartz to make beacons and four um, packages. In fact, you know what else you can do? You can actually attach packages to your vehicle and just carry them that way. That would have been a smart move, wouldn't it? Sun's coming up. I love sunrise in the desert. Although I'm looking away from it, but I love sunrise in the desert. Let's just enjoy this sunrise. What direction are we facing? I keep forgetting. I'm using the two-hit compass. We are facing east. I can actually just do the compass with the one, one button on my controller. And I won't do it on camera, but I also want to measure how long does each day last. Isn't that beautiful? Well, maybe not with that little dirt sign saying debris there, but if we get away from the debris... So there's nothing messing up our view. Maybe I can try and take a... a screenshot in some way that we can use later on. I don't know if that's going to work. Unfortunately, there's a... there's a light on our front which we can't turn off. So... Sunrise in the desert. There's a person you may or may not have heard of called Jeremy Clarkson. He's a bit of an idiot, but he is kind of funny to watch. And he used to be uh, one of the presenters of a show called Top Gear, which was ostensibly about cars, but eventually just became about being silly and messing around. And he, in one of the uh, big tours that they did, mentioned how he loves just being out in the desert, and that's his happiest place. And I have to say, although I've bare, rarely been in a big desert, I don't know if Death Valley, Death Valley in California counts. I haven't been to like a, the Sinai or one of the really big deserts, but there's something about the peace. I mean, obviously it's deadly dangerous as well, but there's something about deserts. I can keep heading west with the sun behind me and see if I come to my original place again. Just keep an eye open. There's something over there. I have used my second stored fuel pod. I'm on my third and then I'm down to whatever's being carried. There's another of the uh, Markers there. Right, battery. Unfortunately, I've got nowhere to put it. So. Oh, yes, I do. I've got a shoulder. I saw another bit of debris. I thought I saw another bit of debris. Yes. And that one has another little solar on it. No room for that one, I'm afraid. I don't take my vehicle over there, just over the. Uh, I'm still doing the two click uh, compass because I'm so used to doing it that way. Right, let's hop aboard. I think. 
we will have circumnavigated the globe when we get to the final marker we get back to our original location. Quick glance at that one, just a little solar again. The big one is broken. And I'm also not sure how much fuel I'm using for just hovering. If I'm not using any, there is a... I'm going to find stuff and not be able to carry it away with me, aren't I? There's two. This is why I brought the um, quartz, of course, then I left it behind. I couldn't carry any more, but... In here... Is the stuff I'm seeing in the mountains tungsten? I think maybe it is. That's why I came here. I'm getting confused. So it's not titanium at all anyway. It's tungsten. <coughs> but I need titanium to make a medium storage silo. So the tungsten doesn't help me doesn't make a storage silo for me. Okay. Some jets. Down there, the solar. There's a bit of debris. Small solar. Another. Oh, that one's copper. That makes sense. You can find copper on this planet. Nothing else in there. I'm getting to the end of the show mark because I can't run the the hour. Not really a show. It's show and tell, maybe. Um, Let's just quickly look in this one, and we should have enough minutes to get back to base. Okay, there's a medium solar down here, so we'll pop that out wherever we can see it. There's dynamite, another a small solar. They all count. The small solars do add up, because you can pop eight of those on a base in the same space that the medium would take up, and you actually get more power, you get double the power. The problem is, it takes more materials, and because it requires copper, and because copper is annoyingly difficult to find, especially on your home planet of silver, I tend not to make them now. And also, this only gives one power, and the wind, for some reason they've made it a little bit more powerful, gives you one and a half. And that bonus makes a huge difference when you start stacking them up in big numbers. So, I tend not to use solar unless I can just find it lying around. But wind, I will build little windmills. There's nothing else in this one. Just debris. Okay, we've, we've put that out where we can see it. If we put fly past or drive past again, I just saw something over there. Oh, it's... Uh, okay. Particular interest, just broken debris and cells. You could scout, you could spend hours just cruising around the surface of this planet looking for stuff. And if you use the wide view, you can actually see a fair amount. It's also quite easy to lose your, uh, your vehicle if you're not paying attention. Right, we're heading west. Over there. The sun is already getting close to going down. And see, you might never see this one because it's in a little enclosed area. We've got walls around all sides. If you could fly past this, if you were just driving over the surface, this one might never turn up. Now, there's a medium battery that's actually all really just debris. That one is just debris too. But if you're looking for scrap, this is a lot of scrap to be collecting. 
everything here will eventually you can break it down. So the the really big stuff like this um, large platform C that's broken, even though it's got a bit missing. Uh, I I am not sure you can that no, next large platform C. I'm not sure you can fit that one into the um, even the extra large strapper without breaking it down first. We've got to take those two pieces off as well, just to indicate I've been here, although it's the battery that's the real gem here that isn't just breaking the strap. Feels like it's been a long day, uh, not me playing I hope, but just the sunshine. But of course I'm also heading around the planet with the sun, so I have extended the length of the day artificially with my flying, and I could continue flying around the sun with the sun if I had enough fuel. I'm not quite out yet, but I do see this is now indicating on my last pod, and you'll see there's a little bit. I'm starting to use up the last bit there. This is also a useful vehicle for getting down into some of those uh, deeper caverns and caves where things can occur. I'm not going to bother stopping for those two and taking the seats off because I want to uh, remember to say goodbye at the end of the episode. Here's our camp seat. Done. And we have some extra power. The sun is about to set over there, but we can use set up a power over here. Interesting, it's uh, opening and closing based on that. We've got this base that we can put out. The sun is just, we're gonna, we're always gonna get shadows unless we kind of build on a hilltop. Um, let's just connect that up. Let's pop out our large solar. And it's saying it's already in the shade because of that little bit of hill. I could shave that away, I suppose. Um, I might get a few more seconds of sunlight as a consequence. But for now, folks, we've enjoyed using our VTOL. Got to have a better name than that. And we found a few things. So it's a useful scout vehicle, and you can use it to collect things, you can use it to go out and mark things. Better than a buggy, I mean buggy's quick, but you can see so much further. And we have a mission back on silver when we finish, so I think I will leave in the next episode, I will leave Kalidor and head back to silver and do the trains on silver, uh, so that we complete the, the train series. So for now, thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure for me, even if it hasn't been for you. And I hope to see you again in the next episode.